And all of that is the moral case for limited government. Limited government is an exceedingly moral concern. So, these examples all show us that the Bible tells us that we should look at it from a moral perspective. We should how to keep a limited government and not a too strong government. So that was a little bit of a summary of the question, what is freedom? Now I would like to go to my second topic, the question of human rights. Unfortunately, the answer... Yeah, I noticed that. <laughs> Unfortunately, the answer to the question, what are human rights, is not self-evident. What you think human rights are depends on what you think human beings are. And exactly that, the view of the human person has undergone a, undergone a radical transformation, especially in the West, but is a transformation that is affecting the entire world through the UN um, and for, through other things, including China. 那对于人是谁这个问题，在过去的几十年，其实定义已经有很大的改变，特别在西方社会国家。那他们这些的改变，现在也在引起全球性的改变。There's been a turning away in the West, mainly from a culture fundamentally based on a Judeo-Christian worldview, firmly rooted in tradition and truth, to a secularized culture. 那特别在西方，非常清楚的一个大的转变，就是呃，社会已经从过去的按照犹太教和基督教的对人的基本的看法，变成了一个更世俗化的对人是谁的看法，特别从受相对主义的影响。For our purposes right now, the primary characteristics of this secularized culture are relativism, love of novelty, and as the highest imperative, freedom of choice. 那现在我们人呃，现在的观念对对人最关键的几个方面，第一个就是相对主义。没有绝对真理。第二个呢，就是呃，要标新立异。啊，第三个可能最重要的就是我有自自由的选择的权利。And this has had a far-reaching effect on how human rights are understood. 那因为这个对人是谁呃的呃的改变，以至于人权的问题也在也在改变。The most important among the new human rights are women's rights, children's rights, and LGBT rights. 那我们常常听到的关于人权问题的讨论是三大方面：是啊，女权运动，还有啊，孩儿童权利运动和同性恋的权利运动。With freedom of, of choice as the highest imperative, these rights demand a transformation in, an under, in the understanding of what people are. 那因为现在的观念是把啊，你自由选择的权利是放在最高地位，所以啊，许多对于人是谁的定义可以按照人自己来来来选择了。Redefining human beings, these human rights liberate people from their traditional constraints. 当你啊，当你呃用这样的观念按照自己的愿望来做选择的时候，传统的一些的观念和说法就被啊丢到脑后。Women are liberated from their children via their freedom to choose to kill their unborn children. 比方说，像堕胎问题的话，就是呃，妇女认为她有自己的权利来决定。而而而他负重孩子的权利已经对他来说不重要了。Children are liberated from their parents by having freedom of choice attributed to them before they even know what to do with this freedom of choice. 那很多小孩子当他们还有还没有真正有判断力的时候，他们也觉得他们有自由来选择做自己一些的决定。And LGBT people. Are liberated from physical reality itself. 那呃，推行同性恋权利的人认为啊啊、呃呃，我们生理上的这些的器官不能决定他认为他是谁。They are given the right to determine their own gender identity in the denial of the empirical fact that human beings are either men or women. 所以，虽然从生理的角度，我们可以啊、呃、看到人是有区别男女这个区别的，但是。啊，他做从从为从为自由选择的角度，他可以说可以自己来定义我是男还是女，还是非男非女。This new human rights ideology 
deconstructs human nature. So, this kind of whole human nature change, it actually has a very big impact. It must remain a primary task of Christian political engagement to oppose this new human rights ideology with commitment and persistence. So, this is actually a very important part of the political movement. But above all, Christians must oppose this human rights ideology with love. We are called to love people, including LGBT people. That's why we fight the LGBT ideology. I'll try to shorten now the, the, the next topic because we're running out of time. And that is the topic of global governance, the ideology of global governance. Interestingly enough, global governance is very hard to define and most people have never made the attempt to really define it in a way that gets at its essence. Here's my humble attempt at a definition. So here goes my definition. Global governance is the attempt to establish a global rule of law. Not by instituting a global state or a global government. But rather by building an ever more comprehensive network of international organizations and institutions that administer an ever-growing body of international law. And a very important aspect of this is that this growing body of international law would bind nation states, bind governments, not only in their foreign policy, but also in very important aspects of their domestic policy. So, just to be sure you don't misunderstand me, um, I am not objecting to international cooperation and international agreements. Neither am I, also I'm, I believe that international organizations acting properly are valuable, including the United Nations. But unfortunately, the global governance agenda goes beyond that. It is basically the latest political utopia. In order to refer back to the UN Declaration, um, there's going to be an awful lot of power required to eradicate poverty, to end hunger, to protect the planet, etc. And this power in the hands of international organization, organizations and globalist elites 
cannot possibly be democratically accountable to real people. 那呃， uh, 我想他讲的意思就是说，一旦这样的签署了之后，这样的权利被交出他们之后，没有任何一个别的机构和方式来制约他们。Furthermore, the global governance ideology、um, is based, as the new human rights are, on a relativistic foundation. 更重要的是，这种全球治理的这么一种理念，它的呃理论基础是相对论的呃理论基础。And here is the danger of relativism when it comes to the idea of global governance. So, uh, here is a very 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 那呃，一旦这个全球管治理的这种权利被被建立起来之后，没有没有别的呃真理或者基础来来约束他们。With no truth, that means there's no truth above the political authority. There's no truth independent of the political authority that could effectively limit political authority. 啊，因为你同时又不相信有绝对的真理，所以你就把所有的决定权和和和能权力全部移交到这个这个组织上去，啊，那这个组织也没有任何人来管理它。And in a globalized world, and with a globally,、uh, with with a global governance ideology that claims to be valid for the whole globe,、um, we're talking about the lack of recognition for limiting power. Globally, something that is extremely dangerous and threatening for human rights、um, and for anyone who believes differently. So, uh, I, 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 不断的发展下去的话，这些就他们自己就成了一个呃独权能够呃影响到人、影响到国家社会的最根本的一股力量。Now this is not occurring in reality. It's occurring in the world of ideas. 那现现在这个好像还没有完全实现，但是已经在思想界、领域界、思想领域已经开始在积极的讨论。Um, and, it's and it's probably not going to happen in the real world, a globally governanced world. It's a utopia, but it can do a lot of damage along the way. Ah,、uh, 虽然可能我们想说真正实现在全全球管理这种理念实现在我们现在的生活上，可能还有一些的时时间距离，但是这些思想的发展可能会对我们带出很重要的影响。And as Christians called to put on the mind of Christ, as several other speakers have mentioned. 就像我们今天上午谈到的，我们要呃，要有呃耶稣基督的心呃和和心智来看待世界。We are, call, we are called to recognize uh, the ideological uh, threat from global governance and to engage in this battle of ideas in, for the good of humanity. 所以我们作为基督徒，我们有这样的责任，要来也来也来思考这些问题，来参与这些的讨论，啊、呃，也为了我们呃整个呃全全人类的呃发展来来来努力。So that was my hopefully slightly shortened part on global governance. 那刚才讲的这些是关于我讲的第三点，就是啊、呃、全球治理的这么一个想法。Another reason why it's a very bad thing. 呃，另外一点，为什么我对全球治理这个理念非常的担担忧 ？That w h Bush was a good guy. 呃，是因为就像我开始讲的，我不我不会讲中文。But I will continue and、uh, conclude with my final remarks with a plea for more international cooperation among Christians on the issues of public life and political engagement. 这是为什么我想进到第四点，就是希望啊、呃，全球的基督徒们都能够联合起来。So, first, I'd like to say something that's not in there, unfortunately.、Okay. But first, I'd like to say that when we're talking about political engagement, we need to remember two things. One, the Lord is Lord over all of life. 那我们讲到呃
基督徒参与公共服务，呃，其中有两点我想讲。第一点非常重要的就是我们讲到是，呃，我们讲到神是一切的主，基督是一切的主。Therefore, we should engage in political and public life. 所以呃，一切就包括了政治，所以公公共服务，所以我们需要在这里面来参与。At the same time, we should always remember, my kingdom is not of this world, and politics is nothing. In importance compared to the importance of the faith. 那同时我们也要知道，耶稣讲过说，我的国不属于这个世界。啊，圣经中也讲到，政通过政治不是拯救人类的方法。所以我们在这一点上要非常的小心。So back to the political realm. As Christians in a globalized world, it's up to us, in all humility and sobriety, and above all in love, to call the world back to the truth. 所以啊，我们。呃，一方面，呃，我们当我们要参与公共服务、参与政治的时候，我们要有本着一颗谦卑的心，特别是出于基督的爱，我们来来参与、来努力。In order to protect the political and social accomplishments that have largely come from as as natural outgrowth of the Christian faith。那我们也知道说，呃，信对神的信心是在我们整个生活中各个方面是是一个很重要的基础。在我们看我们现在的西方的社会，很多的呃社会文化的产生，跟啊、呃、基督教的信呃整个教育是很深的连接起来。Liberty, the rule of law, the respect for true human rights, and others. 呃，比方说自由，讲到法治，讲到呃对人尊严、生命的尊重等等，这些都是跟圣经的教导很紧密相关的。We can only hope to restrain evil in the political realm enough in order to make more space for the good. Restrain evil, not eliminate it, but restrain it enough to make more space for the good. So, we can only do the main thing to prevent evil. We can't do evil. But we hope to prevent evil to prevent evil, so that we can have more space for good. And doing this, restraining evil and making more space for the good, is different in each political and social context. 那啊，怎么样能够在不同的呃社会服务、公共服务当中来运用这个原则，是是有不同的，所以我们要小心。It will certainly be different in China than it is in the United States. 那同样的呃，比方说在中国做公共服务跟在美国做公共服务也会很不一样。So here's here's somewhere where we can where we can completely learn from each other, in terms of what each of us are living right now in the present day. So this is also we, uh, different, from different cultures, countries, Christians can learn from each other. So we can learn from each other, and in undertaking this task, we must remember that we were we are fighting for the good of all people, and not lose ourselves in what we are against. 所以我们在在做这样的服务，在做这样的努力的时候，我们要注意到，我们所所努力的是为全人类的这样的一个呃好处，而不是啊，而、呃、不要忘记我们的共同的敌人是什么。We should only fight against things and fight against ideas because we're fighting for people. 啊、呃，我们特别要把人和事跟机构也分开，因为我们最终的目的是为了人好啊，而而而。And as、uh, Bob pointed out so well,、um, we should not be seeking power for ourselves as Christians in the political realm because we will become corrupt. We're just as sinful as everyone else. 就像今天上午我们听到 Bob 讲到教会历史的时候，当我们人有过多的权利，而且只为了我们自己的好处之后，不管你是基督徒还是非基督徒，都会带出呃邪恶。Rather, we should be fighting for pluralism, for the right of everyone to bring their deepest convictions to bear in the public square. So, we, um, need to be concerned with the right of all people, not with some few people. So, as I mentioned in the part on human rights, all over the world, the concepts of freedom, dignity, responsibility are being redefined. In fact, they're not only being redefined. They're being perverted and distorted into exactly the opposites of what they really are. So, in our modern society, we need to look at these two concepts: freedom, dignity, and responsibility. These two concepts are being perverted and distorted into exactly the opposite of what they really are. So, in our modern society, we need to look at these two concepts: freedom, dignity, and responsibility. These two concepts are
非常重要的几个概念，什么是自由，什么是尊严，什么是责任，什么是公益，现在都被重新定义啊，按照圣经的角度来说，是已经全部被扭曲了。So, in order to be a blessing to our fellow human beings, we must do what we can, under God's lordship, to retain and protect real freedom, real responsibility, real human rights, real justice. So, if we are Christians, if we want to be a blessing to our fellow human beings, if we want to be a blessing to our fellow human beings, if we want to be a blessing to our fellow human beings, 来捍卫圣经中所告诉我们的关于人的自由、尊严、责任、公益到底是什么 ？And you know, in the globalized world, the global governance ideology claims global validity, but the great news is that Christianity is the global truth, and it is a global religion. 所以我们开始的时候讲到，现在全球化非常的呃重要，也非常的呃显著。那我们也相信，我们也知道，也看到啊，基基督教信仰也是一个全球性的一个信仰。So we need to cooperate globally because we are brothers and sisters in Christ, in the faith and in all of the implications of the faith, including its implications in the political realm. 所以我们呃呃，全球的基督徒呃，要学习彼此的合作连接。啊、uh, ，特别是在我们对神的认识和和信心和信心所带出的行为上。At the Acton Institute where I work, we are working on exactly that, equipping each other as Christians to be a blessing to our society, and trying to build each other up in our work. 那我所在的这个呃阿克顿呃研究院，呃我们的理念也是这样，我们能够呃彼此的装备，成为一个更好的基督徒，成为。And a key to that is building networks of like-minded people. 一个非常重要的关键就是让有同样观念想法的人能够连接起来。嗯， that's why I'm here because of networks that have been built. I got to know Bill, and through Bill, I got to know Jane, and that's why I'm here. Um, and you know. Building networks is something that's wonderful because you don't know exactly what the end result is going to be. It's going to be, if God blesses it, better than you could have imagined before. We can do things better together than by ourselves. So, ah, ah, I, 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 我们就能够做更多更好的事。So, to, to, up to this point, I've mainly been working at Acton Institute on building a transatlantic network between European and American Christians because I know Europe best. I lived in Europe for many years of my life. 那我所在的这个机构，那我自己很多的工作，呃，特别关注的是在大西洋两岸，啊、呃，欧洲和美国之间的这样的呃很多的事情，很多的机构之间的关系。那我自己在欧洲住了很多年。But we are now at Acton Institute beginning to work on building ties with China. We've already done some activities in China and here in America with Chinese Christians. So if you are interested, um, I look forward to talking with you and I look forward to getting your ideas. Um, um, Talk also to to Jane or Bill、um, if afterwards you would like to contact me. Hopefully, we're going to do a seminar for Chinese academics, pastors, and business people in Grand Rapids, Michigan,、um, in January. We hope. 那呃，如果在座的如果对这个这方面有有负担有兴趣的话，请你跟我联络。那我们机构准备呃，希望在明年一月份在。密歇根州呃 ，Grand Rapids 这个城市呃，会有一个特别的讲座，是针对华人的呃牧师呃传道人呃呃这个学学院的呃学者们，还有这个做事呃呃公司的这些。I am from Grand Rapids, and the Acton Institute is headquartered in Grand Rapids. 那我是出生在呃呃呃 Grand Rapids 呃呃密歇根，那我所在的这个阿克顿呃。研究院也坐坐落在那边。
And I want to tell you something that you probably don't know, and that is that the real capital of the United States is not Washington, D.C., it is Grand Rapids, Michigan. And in the last few days, I have learned that the only city in the United States that rivals Grand Rapids' greatness is Los Alamos, New Mexico. <laughs> So thank you very much for your interest. I wish you God's richest blessings in your lives and in your work. Thank you very much.